So before we had, you know, this type of stuff, which is a uh, battle for Zendikar, we had a set called Dragon Maid. And this set, I bought this fat pack from Dave and Adams at $14.99. And I even had a coupon and they give you free stuff. There was a time at GP Houston, not their previous, not this recent GP Houston, uh, this year in 2016, but the previous GP Houston, I think it was 2014, where you could get a fat pack of this for $9.99 at the GP. And I forget what store was selling it. I think it was like MTG Deals or something. And that's when you knew that this was a terrible fat pack. So this is a $14.99 fat pack. I figured, you know, why not crack it open now? We're looking for a Shockland. If we get one Shockland, I'll give it away <laughs> to the Patreons. Most of the stuff I'm gonna open this week, will probably just give away to Patreons. And I just like the gold pack. So if you collect baseball cards or football cards, uh, around the time of this release, I just like the gold color. Uh, there was a set called Gold Standard from Panini. And I loved that. I loved it, it was like a gold brick. That was how they designed it. So I've always liked, loved Dragon Maze. It's just that it's not a great set in terms of value. But, I mean, if we get one Shockland, it will be very good. Uh, we're also looking for a Voice of Resurgence. Is probably the other card we're looking for. In terms of making back the cost of the box. Oh, this is pretty good. And... Gilgate. I felt like the split cards could have been a lot better. Wear and Tear sees a little bit of modern play, or used to see some modern play, it's pretty good against Affinity. So that's probably the most valuable card of the set. I just love the gold pack. I'm not sure what it is about the, this particular gold. Um, it's just very beautiful uh, in terms of the packaging. And that's how they get you. And you, you have the clue stone, which you know someday in the future may be more valuable. Unflinching Courage. Dragon Shift and Gate. This was a pretty cool playmat. I don't know what happened to my playmat of it, but I know you can get one, or you could get one David Adams for like nine bucks or 10 bucks at that playmat. Oh, well, I mean, the good thing is you're guaranteed a guild at least, if you're into that type of stuff, which is good for EDH. Long term wise, oh, the Drinker. And we have a guild, a guild gate. Long term wise, if uh, gates do become something more powerful, then Dragon Maze should go up because you're guaranteed like a guild in every pack, either that or you can... I've actually never got Dragon Maze. Oh, Dra Maze's End. I, I don't even remember what the card is called anymore, but I love that card so much. Unflinching Courage, Dragon Shift number two. And yeah, really hard to pull value from this type of uh, fat pack. But if the clue stones eventually become like 50 cents a piece, then you can still not break even, but you come very close. I mean, you get two clue stones, they're commons. This card was so good. Ancient and off to the races. Wow, I don't know what's worse, this one or the... Uh, Battle for Zendikar stuff we opened. I mean, it's just so pretty. The little, the gold, like... Man, it's... It's just the most pretty packs I think are Dragon Maze. And luckily, you can get Dragon Maze boxes for like 70 bucks now. Fat packs are more expensive and they're getting much harder to come by. But you can still get them for like $30. I got this one for 15, which was really good at the time. Render silent and another guild gate. So, <laughs> wow, this set is uh, it is fun to draft though, because you're guaranteed to get like generals and um, lieutenants, I guess, guild lieutenants and clue stones and all those fun stuff. 
And okay, this one's not too bad. So out of the fat pack, we have three generals. We have the Golgari, the, oh, I should know this one, the mayor, and, wow, I'm blanking. So Rakdos is the black red one. Maybe I'll open a clue. <laughs> Sin Collector was very good. Wax and Wayne's probably, oh, and we opened another one. The Boros one. So again, really fun to play with in Limited. One of my favorite sets to play with Limited because if you open a fat pack, or you open like nine booster packs, you're guaranteed to get a ton of these lieutenants, which are just really fun to build around. And they're actually very powerful, independent of themselves. Last pack. Can we get a voice or a fetch land? Oh, not fetch land. And yeah, cool. Um, well, not fetch land. I'm thinking of fate. Very gimmicky, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, I mean, one of the reasons I love this set is because like free clue stones in the pack. That's crazy. It's because the split cards are great, and you get these commanders. I feel like this is the best sealed, because you, out of, you know, these packs, we got, and there's no foils, we got five commanders out of the possible ten. It's just a lot of fun for casual players. So I totally recommend picking these up for a lot cheaper, if you just want something to draft around, or something affordable. Um, not everything is about value. And this is a very awesome set that is extremely cheap at this current moment in time. So anyway, bye guys.